Hello guys and welcome to part 7 in my advanced 2D platformer pathfinding series. In this video, we're going to add the enemy skeleton and make him follow around after the player. So let's click on scene, new scene, click on other node, and search for character body 2D and click on create. We can rename this guy to skeleton, right click on the node, click on add shell node and find the collision shape 2D and press enter. Now right click on the skeleton again, click on add shell node and find the sprite 2D. And click on create right click the skeleton node again click on add shell node and find the timer in here and click on create and change the name of the timer to path find timer we can move the sprite above the collision shape then click on the collision shape we can click here on empty then click on new rectangular shape next we can press ctrl s to save the scene make sure you are in the scenes folder and click on create folder and type in skeleton and click on ok Save this guy with a capital S, like so. Next, find the skeleton folder. Right click on this guy, click on create new, click on folder and type in GFX and click on OK. Then right click the GFX folder and open this guy in the file manager. And I'm going to copy in the skeleton PNG file. You can use whatever sprite you like. I'm going to close this guy down. Then I'm going to drag in the skeleton PNG to the sprite 2D object here. And we have him right here. We can click here on texture, click on filter and click on nearest. So he's nice and crisp. Then click on the collision shape and click here on the select mode. And we're going to drag this guy down and make him a nice shape like so. Something like that. And we're going to make sure that the collision box stands on his feet. Something like that. Right, we now have a collision shape. So let's press Ctrl S to save this file. Then we can right click on the skeleton, then click on attach script. And we can call this skeleton.cs. That's fine. And for the code in here, we're just going to copy basically all the code from the player. And we can copy this stuff, go to the skeleton, and paste this stuff in here. And we're going to go and grab the variables as well. And we can copy these guys from the top. And paste them in here as well. And we need to do a quick fix on this guy as well. Like so. And here at the end of all the variables, we're going to need a timer. And we're going to call it start time. And we're also going to need the player. And then in the render method, we are going to get the player node. And we're going to go to the main node. And we're going to find the child player to get the player node from there. And we're going to grab our start timer, which is the path find timer inside of the scene. Next, we can go to the Godot editor, click on the path find timer, click on node, and click on timeout. Rename this to a bit more C Shop standard. Select all the text, right click and copy, and click on connect. And we can add this guy just underneath the render method. So type in private, void, paste the method in. And then inside of this method, we're going to check if the skeleton is on the floor. And if that is the case, we're going to do path finding. So with the help of the path timer here, we can now control how long it's going to take before the skeleton is going to try to find the player again. So you can save the scene. Let's go to the script again. You can scroll down. And here, we no longer need the process method because we're not going to do path finding when the left mouse button is clicked. So you can delete this stuff. But inside of the physics process, we can handle the start of the hunt by pressing the spacebar here instead. So when the spacebar is pressed, we're going to start the timer. And this will trigger the start for the skeleton to follow the player. You can press Ctrl S to save the file. We can now open up the Godot editor. Let's go to the main scene. Right click on the main node. Click on instantiate shell scene. Select the skeleton and click on open. And now let's move the skeleton to somewhere else on the map. We can put him down here on this plateau here. Something like that. And we can place the player a bit higher up. Like there. And let's click on play. And I'm now going to press the space bar. And here the skeleton comes and he's following the path. And right now he has one second delays. Between trying to find the path to the player. So we can stop for a long moment sometimes. And here you can see he doesn't have the jump height to get up there. And I don't think our player has that either. So let's have a look. 
So as you can see here, we need to increase our jump height for the player and the skeleton a bit. We can open up the skeleton script. And we can update the values here to be 500, 390, and 290. Also set the jump velocity to minus 450 in the player script. We can minimize. Let's open up the skeleton scene again and click on the path find timer. And we can set this to be 0 0.3 seconds instead. Press Ctrl S to save the scene and let's run. And if I click up here, we can move with the player up there and I click on spacebar. And the skeleton is going to start to run there. But we have a bug at the moment. He's following the mouse cursor. So let's close this guy and fix that. We can open up the skeleton script. And we can scroll down to do pathfinding. And in here, we're not going to go to the mouse position. We are going to get the player tile position instead. And we plug it in here. Okay. Press Ctrl S to save. Open up the Godot editor and click on play. And I'll press the spacebar now. I'm going to jump down. That's going to change direction soon and try to find me. Yeah. I click up there. All right, guys. At the moment, the skeleton and the player are colliding. So if I click over here, I can't go there. And that's because the collision shapes need to be turned off. So go here to the skeleton, go to collision, and click on layer one. I go to player, collision, and click on layer one. And click on play again. We can now go to the side here, and everything works as intended. And the final thing we need to update is the build graph method here. We need to check if the debug graph should not be drawn. And if that is the case, we need to connect the points. So press Ctrl S to save here and go to the Godot editor. And click on the tile map path find. And if we turn this guy off, click on play. The graph will not be drawn now, but we can click and jump around and also send the skeleton to hunt the player. All right, guys. This concludes the advanced 2D platform and pathfinding series. I hope you learned something and that you liked the series. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and see you in the next video. Bye for now, guys.